Good day, everyone. All right, so I've got a I've got a knife to show everybody today. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> I know. Whew. My goodness, this is uh, you know it goes along the lines of that cowboy Bowie uh, uh, patterns that I had made a little while back. Just um, it's got an hammer handle on it, which is not what I've done before, so a little different. Anyway, all right, let's see what it looks like. Gotta hold it way back to get it all in the frame. <laughs> all right, there we go. My goodness. There's that side. And there's that side. Whew. All right, so obviously this is made from a uh, an old farrier's rasp, horseshoe rasp. Um, these are getting more and more popular, it seems like, this type of steel. And uh, there's, there's differences in... in uh, Farrier's rasps, rasps out there, okay? Some of them are only case hardened. Got to be careful with that. I might have mentioned this in one of my other videos. Um, I use Heller brand rasps, okay? These are um, uh, about 1095 steel, you can tell. I test them anyway, make sure they're all high carbon. And, uh, and they hold a really good edge. Now, again, that look is, that look has to be done properly, you know, like I, I've said before again. I've, uh, I grind the teeth off to a degree. Otherwise, when you forge it down, it looks like fish scales. And that don't look too good. Anyway. So anyway, back to this knife. So uh, this has a uh, double blade guard, which, as far as I'm concerned, any kind of really good fighting knife needs to have... Let's see if I can show it to you. Needs to have your hand protected with a double guard. There. Okay. Obviously, the other knives can work that way, too. But I don't know. I've always felt more comfortable with a knife that has a double guard so it's protecting the back of your hand to some degree there too as well as the as your fingers over here just feels feels better in your hand too you know and uh, this one is actually quite well balanced considering how big it is now i got a couple of leather spacers right here too and this is a uh, uh an extra thick piece of brass right here i actually soldered two pieces together together to get that thickness and the tang goes in quite a ways, and I anchored it with a, uh, well, it's, it's all epoxied, of course, but uh, there's a brass pin in there, too, just to make it look good. Okay? has to have a pin in there. It just needs to be. So, anyhow, um, this knife is spoken for, by the way. Thanks, Gary. Appreciate it, as always. Um, if anybody, uh, like I said, like I always say, please join my wait list. Give me a call to shop. Uh... Put down on the wait list what, you, what you're interested in. We talked about this the last time in my last video, too, about the um, changes coming up for that. So you can refer back to to that video, too. I'll be uh, doing some changes and um, a little, little, little change as far as how I'm going to make up the available knives. Okay, anyway, so there it is. Here's another look at the handle, the whole thing. And again, this one is spoken for. <laughs> so, whew, sorry. It's, uh, it's a nice knife. So, anyway, thanks again, everybody, for watching. Appreciate all the comments and um, all the subscribers. I get, uh, I get quite a few every day, it seems like. So we're, we're doing pretty good. So, got a lot more coming. And uh, so thanks again, and we'll catch everybody in the next one. Have a good day.